Welcome to the third and final part of the Oracle Mobile Application Framework demonstration. In this part of the demonstration, so you're going to see how to create different features with different content UI options. So the first UI option you're going to see is just a local HTML file. So let's get started. So my new feature is going to be called Help. So on the help feature, you can set the content type to be local HTML. And that means that I can just can start creating my own HTML file or I can just import HTML, JavaScript and CSS if I have done that before. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to import from the web source a single file into my project. So that this file is called index.html. And then the only thing that I have to do is just set that index.html to be the file that I'm going to be using on my feature. So at this point I can start customizing my index.html file or just you know leave as it is. The other feature that I'm going to uh, sh be showing you here today is the concept of remote URL. So the remote URL is just pointing to a server-side hosted and generated uh, HTML file. So let's see how that works. I'm gonna call this feature about. And my about feature is going to be use the remote URL that I'm going to use a just creating a new URL connection and saying this is my Oracle URL connection and I'm going to point this to http www.oracle.com slash mobile and that's all that I have to do to use remote URL if you have a, an adaptive and responsive website you can absolutely you know use that capability on a mobile application, on an Oracle mobile application framework uh, app and just point uh, your application to that resource and, and you're good to go. That's nothing else that you have to do. So let's see uh, at runtime how those two capabilities are added into our demo app mobile application. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing that I did on the first and second part of this demonstration just going in uh, regenerating our app so at this point JDeveloper is going to compile you know our our project and our mobile application and then handle that over to Xcode and Xcode is going to be doing the final compilation creating an IPA file and uh, deploying that onto our uh, iOS simulator so let's see how that goes Okay, so it looks like uh, Xcode just finished up deploying the mobile application onto the iOS simulator. So that's our demo app. So let's see you know, the two additional features that we created on the last part of this presentation. So I'm going to start with the help feature. And the help feature was primarily a, uh, an HTML5 file that I imported on, on our project. So it's just, you know, that index.html. That, and that's primarily your own thing. That's what says here on, on, on the file because you know that's pretty much you know you can start from scratch, create your HTML, JavaScript, CSS files, and just use as a feature on the mobile application framework app. The last thing is uh, the uh, remote URL, and we called uh, that feature about. And about was pointing to uh, www.oracle.com slash mobile so in this is primarily a rendered uh, remote website where we could see all the information available on the website you know uh, it's it's set to be part of our uh, mobile application and we can navigate through that and it's absolutely the same you know the same content and you can use if you have like I said if you have an adaptive and responsive website so that's you know one of 
one of the ways uh, to use that you know remote uh, content on the mobile application. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.